Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today, we are going to implement Firebase Cloud Messaging in our Android app. So, let's connect our project with Firebase. We can easily connect our project from Android Studio. First, go to Tools option, select Firebase from, and then a window will open. Select Cloud Messaging, and then select Connect to Firebase option. It will open Firebase Console in your browser. If you don't have a project in Firebase, then you have to create new project. I have created project with default settings. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel as it motivates me to create more helpful content. When project is created in Firebase, it will show option to connect with Android Studio. By clicking on connect, our Android project will be connected to Firebase, and now we can use any Firebase services we want such as FCM. Now we will add FCM library to our app. As you can see, there are instructions given on how to implement FCM in our app. For Android version 13 and greater, we will need for post notification permission to use FCM. Now we will create a button to get permission from user. We will align this button in center, change its text and give it margin horizontally. We will set button width as match parent and then give it margin horizontally. Giving margin horizontally will give margin from both left and right equally. We will assign ID to button. We will create method which will call when we click the button. This is short way to use button. As you can see request permission function will create on main activity. Let's set up FCM dashboard and check its documentation. Now we will open Firebase console. As you can see we have our project that we have created. It's connected with our project in Android Studio. Now we will open cloud messaging setup. Let's first check for FCM documentation. We will check for implementation in Android. We will add this metadata in our manifest file. It is optional, you can skip this step. This will set a default icon for notification. And it will also set color for notification. Currently, we will set black color and app launcher icon for notification. You should adjust it according to your requirements. Now, we will write code for runtime notification permission for Android 13 and greater versions. Let's import required libraries. We also need to add post notification permission in our manifest file. Now we will need to add request permission method. All of this code is available in documentation, so we don't need to write it manually. Now I will remove unwanted comments from code. To send message to a single device, we will need to get token of that device. We will use code from documentation for retrieving device token for FCM. When permission is granted, we will get device token. You can send this token to your database or server from where you can create specific message for your specific user. If you have any questions or you want video on any specific topic, please let me know in comments. Your feedback helps me a lot to create new content.
Now we will add log to show our token in log cat. Now we will also use this method on our button click so that if a device version is less than Android 13, we can get token of that device on button click. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel as it motivates me to create more helpful content. After this we will run our app and send notification from Firebase. To send notification from Firebase follow these steps as shown in video. First we will send test message. To send test message we will get device token from our app. Let's check our logcat for device token. As I have Android 10 device so it will not ask for permission on button click. It will give device token. We will add device token to Firebase and then click on test for notification. To send notification to all of your users and devices, follow these steps. For now I will set default settings for notification, but you should modify it according to your requirements. As our notification campaign is published let's check our device for notification. Sometimes it will take time for notification, as it also depends on internet connection. We have received our notification. 